أكد صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء أن أي نمو أو تطوير أو نجاح في المملكة العربية السعودية الشقيقة يعم أثره المنطقة كلها منوها بأنه يرى مستقبلا مشرقا مع استمرار السعودية الشقيقة بالإصلاح والاستثمارات هائلة الحجم ما يراه الجميع يتحقق أمام أعينهم جاء ذلك لدى مشاركة سموه إلى جانب صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير محمد بن سلمان بن عبد العزيز آل سعود ولي العهد نائب رئيس مجلس الوزراء رئيس مجلس الشؤون الاقتصادية والتنمية ورئيس مجلس إدارة صندوق الاستثمارات العامة ودولة رئيس وزراء جمهورية لبنان سعد الحريري في جلسة نقاشية بعنوان النهضة الكبرى دور القيادات ذات الرؤى الواضحة في تحويل العالم العربي إلى قوة اقتصادية عالمية كما حضر الجلسة سمو الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ووفد مملكة البحرين الذي يضم عددا من كبار المسؤولين في القطاعين العام والخاص خلال إحدى أهم جلسات منتدى مبادرة مستقبل الاستثمار جمعت أربعة من قادة ذي رؤية طموحة تهدف إلى خلق فرص تحقق طموحات الشعوب العربية في الرخاء والنمو شارك صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة في الجلسة النقاشية بعنوان النهضة الكبرى دور القيادات ذات الرؤى الواضحة في تحويل العالم العربي إلى قوة اقتصادية عالمية ومن القلب بدأ صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد الحديث بالشكر والتقدير للأشقاء في السعودية والإمارات والكويت على دعمهم للبحرين من خلال برنامج التوازن المالي كما تطرق سموه للتحديات التي تواجهها المملكة والسياسات والخطط المستقبلية التي رسمت للتغلب على هذه التحديات وتحويلها إلى فرص Your Royal Highnesses, Ladies and Gentlemen It's a great pleasure to be here And in my opening statement, I think in answer to your question I would first like to extend my thanks to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia the United Arab Emirates and the State of Kuwait for their very generous stand and understanding and belief in what we are trying to do. In 2008, when we launched uh, Vision 2030, we based it around a set of principles. Those principles were competitiveness, fairness, and sustainability. Now, we knew if we wanted to tackle sustainability, we had to have enough wind in our sails. So there was a great deal of deficit spending especially after the financial crisis of 2008 and the troubles that we faced in 2011. I am very happy to report that the Kingdom of Bahrain has never shown a year of negative growth. Ever. We put in place a number of policies to help us achieve that goal. So we tackled let's say six major factors of production. We made sure that land was accessible, energy was accessible, labor was accessible, capital was accessible, the laws were in line with what needs to be considered best global practice, and we had international connectivity, both physical and digital. Those were the main things that we focused on in the last 10 years. Of course, you've just heard me not mention sustainability. The levels of spending that we had uh, put in place were not sustainable with the current economic structure. We were very successful in diversifying our economy, and last year our non-oil growth was 5%, which is, which is quite remarkable, really, for the region, considering the challenges we face. One of the highest in the region. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know if... Uh, this is known, but uh, because we have diversified our economy, oil is only 80% of our GDP. However, here's the problem. Our government revenue did not match our economic growth. So oil accounts today for 75% of government revenue. And this is unsustainable at current expenditure. So the goal of this fiscal uh, injection, if you want to call it that. We like to call it uh, a, uh, fiscal, a structural fiscal balance package. Allows us to restructure our economy to be more ready and more capable of being sustainable well into the next 
decade. We will do a number of things to achieve this. The first being we will reduce our operational costs of doing business in government. Two, we will balance the accounts of our electricity and water generation because frankly, right now that's one of the top three major drains on our, uh, uh, on our budget. Third, we have introduced an early retirement package or a voluntary retirement package, actually. It's very successful. I think uh, uh, to date we have over 6,000 applications. It may be a bit more. I haven't checked the numbers in the last <coughs> two days. And lastly, we have uh, successfully introduced the VAT system, the Gulf VAT system. And that is something I'm very proud of the Bahraini people for doing. It's not an easy thing to do, and it passed with flying colors through our parliament. So, in short, I think while we are an oil economy, we don't want to remain strictly tied to it as a source of income. Let's think of it this way. We need to move from an oil economy to a smart oil economy. And if we succeed at doing that, I will have been a success. Allah yaqtik al afisi. Shukran. وفي إجابة لسموه على سؤال حول كيفية جذب الاستثمارات الخارجية إلى البحرين أشار سموه إلى أن مملكة البحرين تسعى دوما للحفاظ على البيئة الاستثمارية الجاذبة وتعزيزها من خلال استمرار الانفتاح الاقتصادي ووضعها ضمن الأولويات الاستراتيجية which doesn't seem like a lot, but it was, it was good for that year, if you consider the drop in the price of oil and all of the other ancillary, uh, ancillary economic activity that got affected. But this year, we're forecasting over 600. So that is a tenfold increase in three years. Wow. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> but here's the even better news. Any growth in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia any reform in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, any success in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is very contagious for the region. We see a very bright future as the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia continues to reform and continues to invest in all of these mega pro or giga projects as they're called in English. The dreams are still the same dreams. The view that His Royal Highness has for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is what we all want for our countries. And if Saudi Arabia, which is the main engine of growth for this whole region and the main pillar of stability, is successful and is growing, then we are all doing very well. So in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, growth in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is good for us. Please invest in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, all of you that are here, please invest. <laughs> Because when you invest in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, you are investing us, and the world is a safer place. وفي ختام الجلسة التي حضرها عدد كبير من المشاركين في المؤتمر نوه صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء بمداخلة صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير محمد بن سلمان بن عبد العزيز آل سعود ولي عهد المملكة العربية السعودية وما حملته من مشاعر أخوية صادقة مشيرا إلى أن الطاقة التي يجب أن نطلقها في العالم العربي اليوم هي طاقة الابتكار الكلمة الأخيرة لسمو ولي عهد البحرين. والله يعني شا أقول والله يا رويال هاينس your inspirational comments are laid down as a marker for us to rally it's a rallying cry for us to rally around and we will support you in all your endeavors. You have a brother in Bahrain and I know in Lebanon and many among you here we are so proud to see you so say those words and mean them. مشكور الله يطول عمرك. Eighty-six years ago, we found. Eighty-six years. Eighty-six years ago, we found a tremendous resource under the soil of the desert, oil. And we built pipelines, and we built refineries, and we built ports to ship that oil and that valuable resource to the world. And with that money, we built schools, we built universities, we built hospitals, we built housing, and we built the modern countries in which we live. Today, the power that we must unleash in the Arab world 
is the power of innovation, al -ibtikar. And we must give people the tools to succeed in that. So the pipelines that we build in the future are lines of credit and support for startups and for, for, uh, for businesses all over the region. The refineries that we build must be the incubators that house and allow great ideas and companies to be born. And the ports are the infrastructure and our connectivity to the world, whether that be physical infrastructure in aircraft and whatnot, or the digital uh, infrastructure that we need so that we can compete on an equal footing with, with any other geography uh, that is known to us. I am so proud of His Royal Highness's pride in the people of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We are also proud of the people of Bahrain. I know Your Excellency, the people of Lebanon are always in your mind. We must be proud as Arabs, Ka'arab, Niftikhir, Tarikhna, Uturathna. We must be proud of who we are. Who we can be. We should always think of who we can be. And on this journey, I wish you all well, and I am honored to be here by your side. كلمات نيرة انطلقت من فكر نير خلال جلسة اتسمت بالجرأة والشجاعة في الطرح والصراحة في تسمية التحديات ولكن الأهم من ذلك أنها حملت طموحا فاق سقف التوقعات